You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have Terry Quartz from Old Colony Elderly Services with me. Old Colony Elder Services. Yes. Okay. Thank I you. always do the elderly. Sorry <laughs> about that. It's okay. And we're here to talk about the great event that you do every year, the March Against Elder Abuse, yes. June 14th to 12th. It's sad that we have to do a march against mm -hmm. elder abuse, that it we is. even have to talk about elder abuse mm -hmm. at all. Um, this creates awareness mm -hmm. so people yes. know. Let's talk about it. Yes, um, we're looking to raise awareness to let people know that it does exist. It's an underreported problem. Um, over 30,000 cases were reported last year in Massachusetts. Um, there's a new way to report for elder abuse and part of what we're looking for for the march is just to let people know that the problem exists and where to report it if they're concerned. So um, reporting elder abuse is the 1-800 hotline number. Um, the centralized intake unit will take it. It's 1-800-922-2275 um, to file a report. And then those reports go to Old Colony Protective Services and we investigate those reports for abuse. Yep, and there are different types of abuse that yes. you're dealing with. Um, it would be, um, and unfortunately, physical abuse, which yep. is probably the worst. Yep, physical. Uh, physical. Mm -hmm. um, emotional. Emotional, financial. Mm -hmm. and neglect. Neglect. Self-neglect and yeah. sexual abuse. Right. Mm -hmm. Too many yes. to talk about. Now, you got some uh, good people involved with yes. this, but, but besides your wonderful <laughs> staff at OCS, <laughs> yes. uh, now it's first... Assistant District Attorney, former Judge Rick Savignano. Yes. And we get a picture of him mm -hmm. in a bucket truck yes. going um, up. This is the, the wider shot, and mm -hmm. this is the close up shot. Yep. I got the video sent to me mm -hmm. by Lynn Smith. Yep. And then there's a nice picture of um, him, you, mm -hmm. Larry Rowley, and the mayor. Yes. Okay, I know the mm -hmm. mayor will be walking. Yep. And uh, then the nice some, great guys some of, some of the DPW workers yep. as well. Exactly. Um, the, it, it kicks off over the count, Council on yep. Aging. It starts with the Council on Aging, and then we march back to Old Colony, and then march back to um, the Council on Aging for lunch and speakers and awards. Um, it's a free event. We want people to RSVP, and if they RSVP, they'll get a free T-shirt to march with us. Where do they RSVP to? They RSVP to Old Colony, 508-584-1561, um, and Jasmine is happy to take that information at extension 388. 388. Now, mm -hmm. I see a lot of sponsors on there. I yes. know the Brockton Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I get all their bulletins and information, mm -hmm. so they're going to come down. Yes. And let me see who yes. else we got. We have you, a lot of um, you sponsors. You can talk about all of them. We, we couldn't have done it without them. Um, first and foremost, the DA's office, um, Harbor One, the Brockton... Um, the Brockton and the Plymouth Police Relief Association, Papa Gino's, the Rotary Club, um, Roach Brothers and Shaw's, um, and the Sheriff's Department was great to allow us to do the t-shirts. Oh yeah, they mm -hmm. make the t-shirts down there. Yep. And they're purple. They yes, stand out, they you do. can't miss them. Right. Um, you know, it's, it, I, it, how, this has been going on, it's gotta be, I don't know, is it 10 years? That, not yet. Not Close. yet. Close. Close. Okay. I think we're at maybe year seven. Okay. We've been there yep. for all of them. Mm -hmm. And you guys have also, in, in the past, have had speakers over mm -hmm. at the Council on Aging, too. Yes. This is more of the, the March. Rain or shine. I remember yes. we've generally had good weather, but yeah. every once in a while we get a few <laughs> raindrops. As long exactly. as it's not blazing hot, we're yes, all set. Yes, exactly. It, it, I can say it's probably not going to snow in nope. June. I mean, the nope. weather's been crazy. 81 day, 58 yep. the next day. I know. But who knows? And... Um, this is on World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, yes. correct? Yes, World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is actually June 15th, oh, okay. but we're doing it on the Thursday. Uh, yeah, Fridays before. are hard to get mm -hmm. everybody it together. Is. And, it um, you know, uh, it's Flag Day mm -hmm. as well. Yep. So we'll, we'll raise the flag well, mm -hmm. you know, before we do that. So anything else you want to add that Brockton, we haven't covered? I mean, Brockton has been great, um, a great sponsor for us in terms of collaboration with the planning of this event. You know, like I said, the planning committees, the Brockton Council on Aging, the DA's office, um, Old Colony, um, the mayor was was present for the banners and the assistant DA. Um, they're lighting the clock tower purple as well. Oh, this nice. Year. So nice. you were talking about, um, in a prior um, session, you were talking about doing one thing each 
year. One more thing. Yeah. This is our one more thing. We have the, the um, clock tower and we have the billboard up on 24. So if oh, you yeah. drive down 24, you'll see the nice big billboard that says March with us. Oh, we're going to have to get a shot of mm -hmm. that. And we'll definitely go and get the clock tower. I yes. love the clock tower. Yep. It's just it's just amazing. Awesome. So we are, we're glad to mm -hmm. be part of it and help yes. you promote it. Um, Thank we, you. You guys do a wonderful show mm -hmm. on our station, um, yep. Community Options. Mm -hmm. And that's going strong where we can inform people, uh, elderly and people mm -hmm. that love the elderly yes. as well. Yes. So, Terry, thanks Thank for you. what you're doing. Thank you. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.